how are you all doing hope you are doing great god bless you for being part of this channel guys i can't thank you enough remain blessed guys this time around there is a news on our decks and this one is centered on joe ibokwe the man that has been a a sellout let me put it that way a sabotage of biafra and people that have decided that the land of eastern region in general will continue to be in bondage of fulanese forever at his age there is nothing good he's talking about because he has been able to build maybe two by two apartments like our leader used to say and he felt that uh, maybe if biafra comes that uh, maybe that house cannot be recovered but guys it is far beyond that and because of his uh, antecedent of uh, speaking against biafra namdi carlo Sondi boho every freedom father that has risen up to you know agitate for separate state he has been on a vocal and negative aspect of it to oppose them but this time around he ran out of luck after you know he spoke against the Bazinam de Carlo and other things he said some days back or last week and trust Igbo people trust my people these guys decided to go after him maybe in his mind he has too much security in his mind he is protected because he's a minister of uh, Gotha in Lagos and all what not so he thought he can say anything and go scot-free evil guys decided to go after him to ask him some questions you know when such question is being asked you knows what follow in the situation so i want to read for us what happened how he escaped and what is happening on ground as we speak so join me to go to the write-up as we read what really happened joy Ibokwe escape attack as angry Igbo youth in Lagos goes after him. The special advisor to the Lagos state governor on environmental cleaning and protection, Honorable Joe Ibokwe, was at the early hours of Monday, that is yesterday, attacked by some group of youths identified as Igbo youths who lived in Lagos. According to eyewitness, Honorable Ibokwe narrowly escaped attack with his driver on his way to work along Suruleri, axis of Lagos, when some group of men trooped out in their numbers and descended on his vehicle, trying to hurt to him. Okay, let's take that again. Trying so hard to bring him and the driver out of the car, but luck was luck was running out of him. On his side when the driver managed to zoom off without minding the traffic signal <laughs> however it was also gathered that the group of young men who we are speaking Igbo went after the honorable Ibokwe but couldn't get him as the driver geared up the vehicle speedily meanwhile the police arrived at the scene to calm the situation down but the youth we are unable to listen to them as they were busy chanting choruses of war in in Igbo dialect. We will crush Igbo, we will catch him and crush him. Either here in Lagos or in Igbo land, we have declared him wanted. Enough is enough. We have had enough of his nonsense. They, they chanted. However, it could be recalled that Honorable Joe Ibokwe has been against Biafra movement right from the time of Dim Chukwe Meka Odime Wojuku till date and has been championed a lot of media war against the movement. Guys, you can, you can hear it because sometimes when you tell people that they are cross-banding, 
maybe they think uh, you don't know what you are saying this man has been on this kind of work saying all sorts of things against Biafra issue fine you don't want to support them it's okay but you should have keep quiet you should have keep quiet it is on daily basis you are calling Mazin Namdekalo. You are calling Biafra issue. You are saying this, you are saying the other one. Hey, do we run away for this man? Will you stay alive forever to face this kiosk? You guys are creating for us. Forcing us to be into relationship with people that has nothing to relate with us. And how many years will you live? You put your children, your children's children into perpetual bondage. Give way. You need to give way, Oga. Joy Bogwe, you need to give way. Since you guys decided to, you say you are a father. I don't know where your honors as a father because you guys has no empathy. You guys has no, uh, you guys has no, you know, sympathy for your children. You have no regard for your children. And so long as you don't have any regard for your children, you are not worthy to call a father. Where is your honor as a father? It's not there. If a, if an honor for a father is there, your children wouldn't have attacked you. You would have been playing a fatherly role. You would have been playing a an uncle role. But hey. None of these things are in existence because of the fact you guys are all looking for your pockets. You are all looking for your pockets. And that is very, very wrong. That is very, very wrong of you guys. So, if you say you are a father, where is your honor? Joy Bukwe, you are running away. Remember, they have told you as they are chanting in that song, that if they don't get you in Lagos, that they will get you in Igbo land. Where are you going to? Is it the evil land you guys put in order you will run to? That is why it's good. Wherever you are, make sure you put it fine. Support your own. Your own is your own. An outsider is outsider. Support your children, whatever they are So that when an outsider is pursuing you, you'll be able to run back home and take refuge from your people or with your people. And they will protect to give you maximum protection you needed. But... All you politicians, you guys are all thinking about your pocket to be filled today. Then your children will, will, will be going like that tomorrow. Guys, we want to take a few comments here before we call it a day. I just want to bring this information on what is happening on ground. Okay. This one said, staged. Who then want deceive? So you think if I pop want to attack this bigot? He will come out alive. Okay, this is this person's opinion. Joy Bokwe, your time is up. And this person say, that is good. That's good. This person say, get that man alive. Need to show sense. I don't understand him. He never see anything. Unnecessary hatred. Just look at their comments. <laughs> This one is uh, Ibrahim Abdullahi. Unnecessary comments. Just look at their comments. Which hatred are they talking about? It's Joy Bokwe that first hated them. Your children said they don't want this. You're an old man. Agree with your children. Okay? Uh, yes. I'm replying uh, Ibrahim Abdullahi. Another person said, It's over and overdue. They scatter dust ev uh, everywhere. Unknown to them is for our advantage. This is just the beginning. This one said, good movement, no hiding place for them. This person said, wow, I'm so touched by the movie. We must catch Joe Fulani, Fulani, Fulani Igwe. <laughs> okay. This person said, a man that, f that fight for fighting and run away, leaving it for another day. No need to ask why do they allow him to escape. But mark my words, Joe Ibokwe or whatever, we die shamely. Okay? How I wish I was there. Good one. There is God though. Guys, I want to wrap it up here. 